I've always wanted to see this because you know how they always have the shot of them looking down into the stadium and you can like it looks like you're just walking on top of it I'm going to see that stadium right now and it's just surrounded by statues and it, it looks so cool I can't wait to see it I mainly came here today to see if I can watch the draw ceremony, but I don't know if they do that like they did if you saw our last, one of the last terms that we covered was the Volvo car open in Charleston. But what's, I don't know if they do that. They did a draw ceremony there, and I'm wondering if they do a draw ceremony here, but depending on the scale and just the sure masses amount of people here, I don't know if they actually do that. So I'm very curious to see if they can. So that's the main reason why I came here. I'm also looking for a place to eat. And most places don't take card, which is smart. But at the same time, I'm like stranded. I can't find a place that I can pay with card. So I have to go find that place and get some food because I haven't had anything to eat but coffee and water all day. I haven't even had water, Jesus. All right, time to find food, let's go. Peugeot's new logo, unboring the future. Is that proper English? Eh. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give you a tip. When you go to these tournaments and you see all these booths and vendors, you have to resist very hard because then you just start spending money. Dear God, I bought a bandana. I don't know, I just bought a headband for, how much did I buy it for? Oh God, uh, I don't even know. It was, I think 20 bucks. It's just. I don't know how much that is compared to like other bandanas, but that's... <sighs> and, and I had to buy tennis balls because of a video that I'm gonna try to release onto my YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. I have a couple ideas up my sleeve, so stay tuned. Um, oh God, it's so beautiful. I can't, I can't get enough of it. The next day. Oh, 
Oh my God. So today is the official day of main draw, the first official day. And I thought when I first came, it was packed. Holy crap, it's just another level here. The, just the bus getting here, the waiting in line. But apparently, here's a tip. If you are by yourself and you're coming to the tournament, they will ask you if you are by yourself or if you have a single ticket. That way you can move to the front of the line very quickly so that way you don't have to worry about other people like in other like big groups in front of you. So that's, that's Tweenerhead's pro tip right there if you're visiting the Internazionale. But we have our tickets for the big stage, the main court here, and I would just want to get some more footage of people practicing. I'm so out of breath. I'm so excited, but there's a lot to do today. I want to see a lot of players. I want to see who's playing. Amanda Minasova is playing right now and she's losing. Oh shit. Might go watch that later, but enjoy the rest of this day one slash two vlog. <laughs> enjoy guys. If you are enjoying these vlogs, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button and leaving a big thumbs up. I want to hear from you guys. I want you guys to join the Tweenerhead Tennis family. That would be great. I would love to hear from you guys as well. So. Make sure you are doing that with notifications turned on. He made it. All right, at this point of the day, here's an update. It's raining, it's still raining, it's drizzling. We don't know what weather it is. It was so beautiful this morning and now it's raining. And now I, I don't know like what the schedule is when everything's gonna start up. The tarps are out. Everyone's just trying to find a place to hide from this rain, but it's starting to stop, knock on wood. But um, at this point, I'm just trying to stay dry because my whole backpack's wet. <laughs> I'm running out of battery on my camera again. It's just, it's becoming a disaster. And what's interesting about this is, I wouldn't call it a disaster, but I would say that it's like city, like the city open where there's not really cover when it rains you have to like go into the stadium you have to go into a shop like in at the city open you have to do that as well but this is like five times maybe ten times the amount of people that the city open had so when it rains everyone's kind of just panicking and it's just you just run and try to find shelter as fast as you can and the fact that i forgot my umbrella too didn't help so it's a little update for you guys um had some food but yeah, we're going to see how long this takes and see where it goes next at this point. Hey, 